with President Biden and the First Lady's trip to Maui. The president saying that he expects today to be an emotional day for everyone. The president and First Lady set to see the devastation in Lahaina firsthand. That's the district known for its history and cultural significance. They're also going to meet with survivors, parents who've lost children, children who lost parents, and first responders and local leaders. Hawaii's governor says 85% of the hardest hit areas have been searched so far, but 850 people are still unaccounted for. ABC's Melissa Dunn joins me now from Maui. So, Melissa, hundreds of people still unaccounted for. Just bring us up to date on recovery efforts and just the local and federal response. Definitely, Kara. It is a painstaking process because we're approaching two weeks since these wildfires broke out all across the island of Maui. Of course, that intense devastation that we saw in that beloved town of Lahaina. Now, essentially, search and recovery crews have made progress. 85% of that area, they're saying they have gone through methodically, searching each area, going through the rubble. And essentially, that process painstaking and grim. Once they found people who did not survive, they were taking those bodies, moving them over to morgues, and then in the morgues, they've been going through the process of identifying those loved ones. It has been a process, and then also identifying them and notifying families. Uh, the Maui County Mayor speaking out, sharing how he understands there's been a delay in all of that, but explaining how what a meticulous process this is and how they're trying to do so with as much respect as possible. But we are slowly starting to learn more and more who these families are, who the folks that uh, we have lost are. Meantime, President Biden and the First Lady are expected to first come over to Lahaina, possibly see the devastation on land, over air as well, because it is miles and miles across uh, in Lahaina, that sort of devastation. Kira? And you actually spoke with the Maui fire chief. What did he tell you just about the toll of this tragedy, not just on the entire community, but his team as well? It's incredible, Kira. Can you imagine being a firefighter trying to save lives, save structures, save homes? And then one of your own homes goes up in flames. One of your own fire trucks goes up in flames. These men, were, the fire chief told me, are heroes, that they did not back down. They kept going. All of them survived. I also want to note one of them was hospitalized. A lot of them imaginably suffering burns and scars and the trauma that they're going to endure emotionally and mentally as they now also are on edge, uh, wanting to be prepared for anything else that is uh, to happen. But of course, there is a lot of concern here because there was obstacles and issues, uh, reports of lack of water coming out from the fire hydrants, concerns that there were no sirens or even evacuations sent out in time. Firefighters, the fire chief told me, were physically evacuating people as they saw them. So a lot, a lot of dramatic response and an investigation that is underway by so many different parties from the state attorney general's office, an independent party from Hawaiian Electric because of the power lines, of course, seeing if that was a trigger possible start to then, of course, Maui's emergency management agency, which their head of their agency resigned just last week in the midst of all of this chaos. Kira. I still a lot of answers. Uh, people should have <laughs> and and quickly yep. um, and we've got yes. the president uh, there uh, this evening uh, he's going to make remarks what do we know about that uh, definitely Kara so this is really uh, critical a lot of people here on the island the very first days were really upset I was here since Wednesday the day right after the fires came out and they looked me in the eyes and have been telling me that they need help they need help the very first day, there was about 100 federal workers. And I remember someone telling me, Melissa, how will 100 federal workers help the thousands of people that are in need right now? Well, the federal workers now, two weeks later, we're talking about there's over 1,000 of them on the ground. There are teams and teams of cadaver dogs, of search and recovery crews. There's now all this federal assistance that's coming through. And so that's what President Biden wants to highlight, that this federal aid is here and it's not going away. And that's what the people here are very worried about. They're very worried that this will just cycle out after a few months and that they'll be forgotten. And that is something that myself as a journalist vowing to make sure that doesn't happen. Kira? Well, we're in it together with you for sure. Melissa, thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.